Site Reference Check is a powerful tool that helps authors, collaborators, editors, and peer reviewers quickly sanity check the references used in a publication. References are a key component of any research paper. They serve as the foundation that the authors build on when communicating and contextualizing their findings. With Reference Check, you can upload a manuscript and get a report which lists each reference used and tells you whether any of them received editorial notices, like withdrawals, retractions, or errata, or if any of their findings were contrasted by subsequent studies that you might have missed. More generally, you can see how others have used the same references you are using in your paper. Since each reference can be used by other papers, or receive notices well after publication, Reference Check is useful during the writing process, the review step by editors, or even well after publication by a curious reader interested in seeing how sound those references actually were. Let's take a concrete example. In this case, we're going to upload a PDF of a manuscript which was already published as an illustrative example, a 2020 paper called Life Satisfaction Predicts Perceived Social Justice. To use Reference Check, you simply upload a manuscript, either a PDF or Microsoft Word document, and click on Generate Report. The document you upload will not be stored in our system. It will only be uploaded for the purpose of extracting the references, at which point we delete the original document. After a brief period, the Reference Check Report will be generated and viewable at any time from your site profile under the Reference Check section. The Reference Check Report provides a number of key pieces of information about the document you submitted. Immediately at the top, you can see whether any references in the manuscript have any editorial notices that are concerning. In this case, we see that of the 41 references used, two of them have some type of editorial notice. Just below is metadata about the manuscript itself, the title, authors, and abstract, for your convenience. Further down is a list of all the references used, prioritized by concern. For example, those with retractions show up first, followed by those with lesser types of notices, and finally by how relatively contrasted their findings are by other studies. Let's dig into this a bit further. Here, we can see that we have 41 references which were used a total of 45 times within our manuscript. After all, each reference can be used more than once in various sections. The first reference by Stoppel et al. was retracted in 2013, well before our paper was actually published in 2020. At this point, we might wonder how we used that reference in case it was intentional. Easy. We can click to expand the statement and see that we used it in our discussion section. In this case, you can see that there is no mention of the retraction, so the authors are likely unaware that they are citing retracted work, even though the paper has been retracted for nearly a decade. In fact, this study was retracted along with many others from Stoppel because it was found to be fraudulent. The second reference evidently had a correction in 1976, about 17 years after it was published in 1959. By clicking on the notice, we can see what was corrected in case it affects our manuscript. Going further down, we see a third reference by Schwartz et al., which received two contrasting statements from other papers. Those statements might be worth digging into. First, let's see how we use this reference by expanding the statement. We can see that we reference it in our introduction section to make the claim that inequality decreases with happiness, subjective well-being, or life satisfaction. Okay, so what did those other studies that came after Schwartz say about their claims? And does it affect how we use them as a reference? Well, if we load the site report page for the Swartz paper by clicking on our badge and apply filters to see only the contrasting statements they received, we can immediately see two different papers that were published a few years later that offer direct evidence deviating from their original claims. Going back to the reference check report, we can also manage the long list of references and statements by leveraging various filters on the left. For example, we can filter all statements by keywords in case we want to see which references we use to make specific claims in case we want to pick a more reliable one. By using the paper sections filter, we can reduce the results to only those references from the introduction to focus on them and make sure that area is sound before going on to the next part of the manuscript. References are a foundational component of research, and as new findings come to light every day, it can become cumbersome to stay on top of the information. 
With Reference Check, you can get peace of mind at every stage of the writing process and ensure that you have a solid foundation for your research.